I'm going to prove three ways in three methods, okay? Why zero factorial is equal to one. So let me give you three reasons why zero factorial is equal to one. First of all, um, one factorial is equal to one, right? That is one times one, which is one. Now, two factorial is equal to two times one, which is two. All right? So we have two. Now, three factorial is three times two times one, which is six, right? Yeah. So we have three factorial is six. Then four factorial is four times three times two times one, which will give us 24. So we have four factorial to be 24. Now, five factorial is five times four times three times two times one, which will give us 120, okay? So we have 120. And the list goes on and on. Now, where am I driving at? I want us to look at this and you will notice a pattern. Yes. 120 divided by 5 we give us 24. 24 divided by 4, we give us 6. 6 divided by 3, we give us 2. 2 divided by 2, we give us 1. So you see that this is a sequence. It's following a pattern. So that means that if we have 0 factorial here, the answer is going to be 1 divided by 1, which is 1. Can you see that? <laughs> yes, that is one reason. Okay, now let me give you the second reason. Let me give you the second proof. Why we say that zero factorial is equal to one. The third reason is going to wow you. So I would like you to watch to the end and see the third reason. Like the third reason will wow you. Okay, if this is the first time you are seeing us, please click on the subscription button, turn your notification bell so that you don't miss our amazing videos. We upload our videos daily, two to three times every day. So always tune in at your convenience to watch our new uploads and give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video. Thank you very much. So the second one is, um, if I say four factorial, four factorial is same thing as four times three times two times one, right? Now, three factorial is three times two times one. So you can see that we have three factorial in four factorial. That means if I want to write four factorial, I can write it as four multiplied by from here to here is three factorial. Can you see that? Similarly, this three factorial is equal to three multiplied by, you see that two times one is two factorial, two factorial. So that simply means that n factorial is equal to n multiplied by n minus one factorial. You can see that. Okay, now let us say one factorial is equal to one multiplied by one minus one factorial. Okay, one minus one factorial. Yeah, so if we solve this, we are going to have 1 factorial is equal to 1 bracket 0 factorial, okay? 1 bracket 0 factorial, or 1 multiplied by 0 factorial. Now, 1 factorial is established. Everyone knows that 1 factorial is 1. So we can say 1 is equal to, now 1 times anything is that thing. So 1 times 0 factorial is 0 factorial. So you can see that 0 factorial is equal to 1. <laughs> Is that amazing? Yes, to me it is. Now, this is the Obenga, the, the, the one that, uh, this will wow you. Now, let us give, let me give you the third reason. Do you know, you remember that when we talk of factorial, we talk about how many times we can arrange a certain number of items, right? For example, three factorial is asking us how many times can we arrange three items on a straight line? Okay, so for example, if I have A, B, C, if I want to arrange this in three, uh, if I want to arrange these three items in a straight line, it's going to be A, this is already the first arrangement, then I will change the position of C and B. Okay, then I can decide to keep B. Then I'll change the position of C and B. I'll, I'll write, sorry, A and C. So I'll write A, C. I'll still keep B, D, um, constant, right? And interchange the position to be C, A. Then if I keep C constant, I'll write A, B, or B, A, right? A, B, or B, A. So you can see that we have six ways. Six ways to arrange three items. And which is why three factorial is 
3 times 2 times 1, which will give us 6. Now, as we are giving just two things to arrange, two things. So, it means that we have say A, B. This is already one arrangement. The only way okay, we can arrange this is B, A. So, you can see that 2 factorial will give us 2. All right? Which is saying as 2 times 1, which is 2. Now, if we are giving one object to arrange, let's say A. We don't have any other way to arrange one object. It's already arranged. There's nothing we can do this. So that means that one factorial is one. Now, when we are given nothing to arrange, you are told, arrange nothing. Nothing is given. So we have what? Nothing to arrange. That means there is only one way to arrange nothing. And that is nothing. We have empty. Empty as our words, as our answer, which is just one arrangement. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but ah, that is the most amazing explanation to zero factorial is equal to one. Yes, when you have nothing to arrange, you have only one way to arrange it. Nothing. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.